today I want to talk about how to find an all year round training facility in the UK. So this video is going to be more specific to UK based uh, private trainers who are currently uh, operating a sports training business uh, in, the, in the UK, right? So you could be in London, you could be in Manchester, you could be in Cardiff, wherever you are in the UK. This video will help you because I know this is something that working with a lot of coaches over the last couple of years, this is something that a lot of coaches struggle with, especially when we move into the colder months of winter. Now, I want to be clear that some of these points that I'm going to touch on today are things that I've personally done within my business. And it's also other things that I have helped coaches to do with their business. Okay, so three things I'm going to share with you today is how to find an all year training facility so you can work with your clients on a yearly basis and not a seasonal one. Right. So a problem a lot of coaches have is that when they get to the winter months, it becomes extremely difficult to to train clients Monday to Friday. Right. So but during the day, most kids are obviously going to be in school. So there's obviously no not not real amount of time to, to train or work with players uh, during that time. And then when it gets to the evening, and especially here in the UK, by 4.30 in winter, it's already dark, right? So essentially, if you want to work with clients in the evening, in winter, you need to be in, in, a, in a facility or a venue or an area where there's light, right? Where there's floodlights so you can continue your training. Now, a lot of trainers really struggle with this because when it gets to the winter months, most facilities around the UK tend to opt for hiring them out to either clubs or teams. And it's pretty much an obvious uh, reason for this. Number one, clubs and teams can pay more for that training facility. And also there's going to be a lot more consistency. Right, so if a facility sees that you've only got five or ten clients and that you only need it maybe once every two weeks because you're training uh, sporadic clients, then essentially that, that organization is going to look at you and say, right, well, we want someone that's going to be there week in, week out. Right, So that's why most of these uh, facilities prefer hiring to to groups or to clubs and teams right and when i say groups i mean adult groups because there's a lot of um corporate bookings a lot of adults that play uh, seven aside five aside nine aside and they set they, they mostly tend to take up a lot of the space at mo the facilities we're going to talk about today uh, in the winter especially okay so the first one is in order to find a, an all year round training facility, okay, we've got to try and look for private organizations, right? So, private organizations could be a power league, right? It could be goals, soccer center, it could be uh, churches, right? There's a number of churches that I know, especially in my area, that have indoor, uh, have an indoor hall or a gym space where you can work with clients on a one-to-one -one basis, right? Also some private gyms, right? There's this one coach that, that I've been working with uh, and what he does is he's arranged a, a partnership with a local uh, private gym that from, from this time to this time, that a private gym is going to be hired out uh, for him so he can work with his clients. And in exchange, he does some PT, so personal training with some of the clients in that gym. OK, so there's a lot of organizations out there that if you contact them and you speak to the decision maker, 
you might be able to come up with, with some sort of agreement or, or partnership where you can provide them value and in exchange, they will give you some, some space, whether that be outdoor, indoor, or like I was saying, in a private gym where you can work with your clients uh, privately and especially during, during the, the winter months and all year round. Okay, so private organizations is the first one, right? So the second one is clubs and teams. Now, something that a lot of private trainers are starting to do is they're starting to to partner with a lot of uh, clubs and teams in their local area now why does this help you to find an all-year-round facility well it's very simple if you work with a club right so if you present yourself as the specialist uh, private trainer then essentially that club will will see you as someone that specializes in something that they might not be currently offering to their current athletes or players so if you come in and you express an interest to help their players uh, you can provide value you can speak to the decision maker and you can essentially close them on you coming in and providing sessions for some of their players you might be able to, to find an all year round facility to do your private training sessions from, okay? Now, I know there's, there's this one coach that does this really well. He's based in London. And what he does is he partners with specific clubs, right? And what he does it more specifically, he partners with teams. So what he does is he, when that, there's a team training session, he will arrange with the head coach to work with a specific player while they're at that training session, okay? So more specifically, I know there's this one, there's this one team, it's an under 12 boys team that this, this trainer works with, okay? And what they do is they, that, that team obviously has a set day, set time that they're training at and a set location, which is AstroTurf under the floodlights, which is what most uh, trainers are looking for. So he will show up at that session and everything is arranged pre-session. Okay, so during the week, he will say, right, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna work with your center backs and I'm going to take them to the side and I'm going to do a 45 minute private training session just with them while that coach is working with the other team. OK, because most of the time when when these teams hire out facilities or pitches, most times they don't need to use the entire pitch. So what this this trainer has found and noticed is that he's done his research and he's figured out, right. If I can add value to this team and I can see that that team doesn't need all that space, then I can work with the coach, help his team, and at the same time, I can gain more clients. So the way he has it set up is, as I mentioned, pre-session, he says he, he either organizes a Zoom call with a coach or an in-person meeting, and he says, right, next Tuesday, I'm going to be working with three of your center backs. We're going to do a small group training session. It's going to be 45 minutes. And this is how much I'm going to charge for that session. A head coach, if you are a specialist and if you can really deliver results, will be more than happy to pay for your time. Okay. So that is another way of finding an all year round facility because if you can do that with several teams then essentially Monday to Friday you can fill up those days with private training sessions and if you can find a venue or facility that a team is using that doesn't need the entire pitch you can work with two or three or four of their players or even one to one in a in a small part of that that pitch while that training session is happening okay 
So you'll always have a facility to use. Now, the third point is schools and colleges. So what a lot of trainers are currently doing now is they're going into schools and they're looking to run uh, private sessions for their students. So this might be an after school club, right? This might be a, a session working with that school football team into a school, right? And you start to build relationships with that school. The school starts to trust you, the school to see the value you're adding to their students. What you can then do is if that they have facilities, they might have an AstroTurf or they might have an, a, an indoor gym. You can manage to speak to the decision maker, build a really good relationship with that school. You might be able to use their facility out of school hours. So that means you can run some of your sessions either indoor or outdoor when, when school is finished. Okay, so schools typically in the UK finish uh, at 3.30 p.m. So 3.30 p.m. onwards, if you build a good relationship with that school or that college, right, and you can provide value to their students and you start to build trust, you might be able to then sit down with someone that is a decision maker in that school, explain to them what you're doing, what your business wants to do, what you specialize in, and how training those, those kids will help to not just get more exposure for the school, but also you can provide your service to their, their students at the school as well. Okay. So these are three very simple, basic, and current ways that private football trainers here in the UK are currently doing to find an all year round facility in their local area where they can use to run their business, right? So if this is something you need more help with, okay, if you have a training business and if it gets to winter and you're really, really struggling to find a facility or you need more help, more guidance, and you need just, just someone to talk to about that, okay? Get in contact with me. I'd be more than happy to, to schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with you. See where you are with your business. See where, we, where you want to get to and how we can solve this problem for you. So you can ultimately find an all year round facility and train clients all year round as well.